sadly this one's for cons consolation prize now for Natasha um, it's gone she's 4-1 down uh, I mean Rafi obviously understands his cards but he is very reluctant to buy go for a standard victory point thing I don't know whether it's kind of, kind of style marks or other things uh, this one though is victory points are very much in play uh, crop rotation is a very powerful card victory I think cards become useful there's a sauna and a vanto which is very fast and you have courier um, the problem is it's quite difficult from Tash's perspective for there to be a strategy which is downright losing he, again he's going for his trashing strategy he doesn't like coming into it I mean my real concern is I think he's like one one down I mean if Natasha had um, the victory points in that last one his timing for ending the game wouldn't have got away with it but Natasha was still trying to catch up with the other ones and the changelings but yeah again it was an early start lead for this one so let's see if the luck turns around a bit now a courtier is a very nice card on this is one exception from when I gave for gold first time I would have gone for plus three coins and just got crop rotation right out right out of the gate um, perhaps he wants to see whether he'll trash his estates first um, give him some room to to not spot this um, I think you probably going to have lost a little bit of focus here uh, so what did Rafi trash um, he trashed an estate See the other reason why, why Temple's an odd one here, it builds up some victory points. But um, Sauna's very powerful card when you start to get into Avantos because you only need to silver to do the trashing. Now Natasha's been driven off strategy one a little bit. Um, it's because of a 5 2 start, uh, kind of forced this a little bit. But I would have been happiest if I'd seen. Uh, uh, crop rotation taken sometimes you just need to commit to the one big thing and realize it's just a buying thing um, again there are there are a few buys about Hamlet gives you one of them Courier can give you the other but these aren't as trivial buys as some of the some of the other ones replace allows you to get the same name card um, if you watch one of the early ones Natasha was kind of talking this through where she had the opportunity to replace a province, give your opponent a curse and reduce the numbers, but it's always a bit of a, a gamble. Now she's gone for saunas, now she sees me, I'm, I like saunas and vantos quite a bit, she's seen me use these quite a few times. If you combine this with a buy, which the Hamlet does, it's quite powerful. But the one change on this one is the crop rotation. She needs to keep a little eye on the temples for being uh, a victory point once. I've bought it occasionally, um, but it's normally a little bit slow. Yeah, so he's trashed the two with the temple. So again, yeah, he likes trashing his cards all the way down. I expect at some point he will trash his temple too. Um, now at this stage you can discard for a buy perhaps. Um, now I'm hoping that this will go to a six coin and we'll see a crop rotation bought. This is what I'm hoping to see. Uh, it's tricky with Saunas. Saunas is a split one when I said, oh, once you get to an Avanto, because basically what happens is you can chain the cards without using up the actions. But there's a little bit of luck in the tempo. If you get um, three Saunas, two Avantos, you were strongly there. Yeah, finally we've seen crop rotation. This comes after Rafi's trashed his estates to an extent. Well, actually, I'm still seeing three victory points. Where's that come from? Um, I thought I saw him trash an estate. I've missed, ah, yeah, he's got two from, oh, the two's from the temples, yeah, so he's trashed two estates, uh, but he's got two back from the temples, which is what I thought he's doing. Um, now he's probably going to trash, well, I think he's probably going to do a replaced game state, perhaps, but I think he's, Rafi may have realised, well, I don't know, he may just be following his own strategy, always stick to the same thing, but he may have realised that this, this strategy isn't bulletproof here. Um, there's also King's Court, or he may not, obviously you could see on as a promo card, he may not have seen that enough by someone who knows how to use it. Uh, because again, the computer doesn't buy the Avantos. <laughs> it likes the saunas, which is good, which is trashing. Uh, I think it's probably still gain a gold, gain a silver. Possibly plus three coins. 
Um, I mean, what you'd like to be able to do is buy a sauna there. Uh, still seems a bit strong for you. Six coins for things. She's not buying gold now, though, at that point, that's clear. So she's bought a replace. I think she's perhaps looking now to do what uh, is always the one which seems to backfire, which is trying to um, trash the trash a province you have, uh, get a new province and give the curse cross. But because Raffi makes his hand very small and likes his curses, late curses aren't going to get you close to it. Um, right, so first thing, crop rotation, you'll see the it's oh she forgot to play crop rotation ah uh, no that's the wrong way what did she want to get out of that and she got a fortress okay when you replace a fortress you get to keep it so i think what she's going for is to turn fortresses into gold um i would like her more well this is perhaps my style thing of to push on with saunas and moved on to vantes um, yeah, because this crop rotation by victory points show show Rafi that his strategy is not working. But I suppose when you're four one down, the feeling is, oh, perhaps there's something I don't know about. Perhaps his strategy was much stronger than mine. And in a couple of cases, it it was a stronger stronger move. But I still think if you really were to analyse the timing, there's still the old percentage point which he's missing. I mean, he's done some interesting things. Um, but this one isn't quite so heavily aligned for doing this. Now, the other thing, you look at the naming of the cards for Courtier, um, it gives you some extra possibilities. Um, see, he still, Rafi still kind of doesn't want to get his crop rotation thing. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, the way to re play replace here would be to gain cop coppers into estates for Natasha um, and then estates into sauna whilst, they're still, whilst it was still available. I think this has to be a buy of a sauna. Actually, it seems odd with six coins. So she bought the temple. Mm. Well, there were some victory points sitting there, but I think that was that's a reversal of what the early moves were. Perhaps she's forgotten about crop rotation after that first replace one. But yeah, her playing a slow game, well, slow game against slow game, it seems that Rafi, Rafi has an edge. Perhaps she's wanting to prove that she can play the slow game and win. Um, but. Or perhaps she's intending to refresh up the temple. Um, because you can replace a gold into into province as well. Or it could just be, yeah. Um, it's been a long time. Perhaps she's just wanting that king's king's court replace or something. Um, now she's got an attack card. Oh, the other thing about when I said, oh, is this, um, I was moving on to, Courtier. Now, Courtier is a very weird one. It's very powerful. You show a card and it gives you one of four things. But this one of four things is based upon what the name is on the bottom of the card. Now, you see things like actions and victory points, um, but that doesn't necessarily speed speed things up. Um, so I think she's going to replace the temple here. Um, but it gives a, a plus action or and potentially... Uh, a, a gold or plus three coins. So it can work as a gold in terms of being a coin if you play it. So it can get you three coins now. It can get you a gold in the past. Plus it can return you an extra buy or done the other one. So her two options were plus three coins and plus a gold. So yeah, she is trashing the um, temple. Actually, I think it actually works slightly better with them. Um, Crop rotation, but it was clearly going to be a gold um, so that you can replace upwards to being a province. And she bought the last sauna, I think. Is that right? Buys and gains a sauna, yes. Yeah. So the last sauna was bought. I think some of them, um, the website's reasonably nice for playing, but some of the things aren't especially clear. Uh, 
so I'm hoping that whilst I'm a little bit lost, not all of you are lost as well. So Hamlet, you've seen them play or replace through to all these Hamlets. Um, it does get you a plus buy, but you discard a card for it and it can get you a plus action. So it's quite a nice two card compared to the other two card. You see Familiar here, which would have given a curse for the attack cards. The, the potion's not great. You could actually have got one here and trashed the potion back again. Um, now, I think that Tasha was wanting to kind of trash a fortress, get a fortress back. Um, I think we'll probably see Rafi being aware of that trick. But again, he's kind of overlooked this one. I think he roughly just seems to move all the way towards one hand being the finishing hand. Uh, doesn't take any distractions in place, doesn't try to improve off that. Natasha's will be split up a bit. Um, who bought that first of Vanto? So Rafi's got Navanto. So he's got the slight edge in that regard. As I say, you kind of want two of them. So opening that up. At least now she's kind of using crop rotation. Now this time she got a province. I know she's probably a bit reluctant after um, game two to just go for provinces. Ooh, that was a bit of a risky discard. Um, yeah, now she's only got seven coin. Uh, I guess it's got to be an Avanto. I wouldn't actually buy the second card. I would trash. Uh, whether trashing this, uh, so it should be an Avanto here. It's a little bit forced. Uh, make her opponent by the last Hamlet. Because whilst Hamlet seem very good in this order, um, and he's got a King's Court as well. Yeah, the shuffles just haven't been particularly kind. Although I, I did, I did have. Um, some of the reversal, Natasha got to the crop rotation earlier. I think she should have got to it earlier. She just hasn't been using it. I mean, the main power about crop rotation is it doesn't quite balance with Sauna and Vanto. It means that your victory point cards aren't necessarily getting in the way. And not only are they not getting in the way, you get a plus card. So you can effectively play with a six point, a six card hand with a lower chance of getting, um, getting a green card in it, um, or victory point card, which you wouldn't be able to use otherwise and this means you, you move quite fast through the things um, and the problem of playing slow is when your opponent is just doing everything to build their deck into a one card one card move you give him this opportunity to get close to emptying out these decks and you don't have a lead if you had the lead of 12 victory points yeah okay there are lots of buys about but if he had this lead to 12 victory points, he would still, as well as the coins and the buys, still have to be in the lead. But here we're like, two of these piles are down. The third pile luckily isn't particularly endangered. Um, but still, there are potentially quite a few buys around. Uh, so it could be two turns to empty out the estates. So I really would like to see at least one province bought here if possible um, by Natasha put a little bit of pressure on him I think it's not fantastic so I think here she shouldn't well she can discard a copper for a buy if she wants but it doesn't achieve anything um, I think here she shouldn't do anything to take the plus three coins okay so it's six coins See, I think she's kind of vaguely wanted to get the King's Court. Oh, no, that was nine coins. What did I miss? Oh, sorry. No, no, it was plus three coins. It wasn't gaining gold. Yeah, so that's what I was That's what I was wanting to see. It puts just a little bit of pressure on her opponent. Um, so what did he do with his replace there? Oh, it was a pole diver. Um, it hasn't come up yet. No, I think he'll replace a fortress with gold. No. No, he's got running through these and he's drawn his king's court. No, he should actually king's court courtier. But yeah, he's done replace. Not too surprising. So what did he actually king there? Yeah, replace. Uh, sorry, I need to leave this with a log for this. 
He trashed a fortress, gains of a place, trashed the gold, gains the king's court, and place replaced the third time, trashes the temple, top decks in place. It's a slightly interesting approach still. Has he still got the actions with his things? I think he has got enough actions. Okay, he's going to end the game early again. Um, Term 13 is a little bit early. I mean, the problem is, if Natasha got that second province earlier, this this strategy, just he wouldn't be able to do this at this stage. Um, this would then completely backfire on him. It's, uh, But I think actually he can't get through to getting the all the replaces out yet. So this may not actually work for him. Uh, he can replace one gold to get a province, bring it up to 10. But who was the first player? Ah, okay. So he's not king to replace. If I'm reading this right, he has no gold in place, so he can only get one province. Oh, he's got an act, he gets an... Oh no, he doesn't get a card. Yeah, that was odd, he could have... He could have come pretty close to... Oh, the Hamlet's still there. Um, oh, there's a way of monkey, yeah. Uh, miss that. So it's plus one by plus one coin. I forgot to talk about the ways. The way of the monkey I don't mention too often because yes, it gives you a buy but one coin. Normally, normally the action cards are better than this. Um, but he still didn't buy a province. Um, so the fact that he's got his king's courts, he can potentially king in several golds. Um, yeah, so it's still a threat to end the game, I think is the problem. That King's Court will, will still probably do it from a strategy. But it's still a little bit risky on his behalf. Um, I, because I don't think he's been counting the buys available to Natasha here. And he's left her with a lead. Um, but the game's gone a little bit too slow. I mean, he's seen the kind of tricks. But the fact is, when he got these king's courts, I mean, they could have been provinces. The reason that it looks like, oh, he's so close to winning all of a sudden was because he should have had a big lead, which he could have established in the old fashioned way. Um, he missed crop rotation. And this is a slightly more precarious lead. Um, say he's, he's not actually guaranteed to get through his deck with his cards. I think he will, does. Um, but if he didn't get through to his replace with his king's court, uh, it would leave him in a little bit of a um, little bit of difficulty. So if he was actually just able to buy a province, that wouldn't actually help. <laughs> that wouldn't actually be good good for him. The problem is Natasha can't king her replace, um, and Ravi's sitting there with Ravi sitting there with um, three of the replaces which have gone. Uh, so yeah, I think actually Ravi's going to win this. 5-1 and it's going to be on the next turn which is a bit sad really because his hand isn't that powerful um, yeah, it was um, so she's going to replace the fortress get the fortress back she took a duchy, that's that's a positive at least. Um, that puts a little bit of pressure on when he, he moves up to 19, but I think he's still, I think he's replaced, he can still replace three goals, get three provinces, 21. Uh, I don't think he can actually end it, because what would he need? Yeah, there are three piles to kill. Yeah, Natasha may still be all right here, but her oh, that shuffle's not gonna be what she wants to see. But Rafi's not necessarily going to know that um, because I'm not actually streaming this out obviously, for obvious reasons, ethical reasons. Um, well, both players I'm sure would be very ethical, but it, it means um, it removes any of these complexities because whilst this is just a, a fun kind of online thing, uh, serious international tournaments have been forced online. And obviously with the power of computer programs, it's not like the old days where you could have any number of computer programs you you want wanted. Um, so he's kings of Vanto. Oh, he has 
Four kings courts, yeah. Okay, he can. Um, king and all kinds of things. Um, his entire deck's going through, so it's still probably enough to end the, end the game with Natasha only having three. Um, but, um, yeah, so all these serious competitions, what I was saying, uh, have had to go online, and there's the issue of cheating because the computer programs are so strong, you can't be sure whether someone's improved, found something brilliant, and they won't use the strongest bots, for example, in chess. So people have had to have the Zoom calls where they're not even allowed to leave their, leave their computer. Um, it doesn't actually negate the possibility of cheating if someone was seriously doing it, but there are all these extra constraints, and a lot of, a lot of people don't like having the camera on them too, um, which may be some added pressure on Natasha, but I think it's perhaps the style, style of play it was difficult to get your tempo right when you're only seeing the victory points. Um, when you're only seeing the victory points, it is it is it is a tough ask. Um, and this one's kind of salvage things. And when the shuffle's not quite going with you, anyway. I mean, as I say, it's the very first courtier and crop rotation. I think she kind of forgot to exploit that bit. Um, she may get lucky, there's still the clock rotation to discard one of those, so it's not just stuck with three coins. It may be that Ravi leaves op an opening for Natasha to end the game if he tries to half end it. Um, but the, the kings. So I think. What does he bring king in here? I thought he had four kings in one. So king court here. Oh, he's king to king. Oh, that's what he's saying. So he's still king it. Yeah, so he's managed to end the game. And it was in um, 15 turns. So, yeah, that was a bit disappointing from a supporter's point of view. Oh, I am sort of getting turns here. Perhaps it's because if I haven't won the screen, 14 turns. Uh, yeah, so that's about the right tempo. Um, but there are a lot of provinces still to get. So hard like Natasha. Um, you can see how he didn't have any estates, any coppers, so he just goes trash, 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 trash. So again, strong trashing hands kind of helped him, but I think his early temple things were a bit wasteful for this. Um, but yeah, so I will stop this. I will have an interview with Natasha at some point to see how she felt, um, but I don't think she'll be very happy. Uh, but it was a good play. There's some interesting tactics to learn from, and this is a competition for fun we're playing. Uh, do not confuse the outcomes necessarily with knowing the best strategy. Uh, the counterplays are not obvious to the thing when you're having to change games on the fly. Um, but well played, Rafi. Congratulations. I think he's now guaranteed himself a promotion spot. Uh, we joined this halfway through. I think Natasha's still safe from promotion, but needs, needs perhaps still to pick up at least one game against the top guy of the league. So it's still going to be tough for her. But as I said, very new to this, and I don't think promotion's guaranteed in, in one go just because of the way that the variation goes. But we'll be back, catch up with us again sometime. Uh, we'll hopefully get more established and start to give more lessons of things as time progresses. So this is David, aka Tetron, signing out. <laughs>